The diaphragm is the main muscle of respiration. It sits at the bottom of the rib cage between the lungs and the abdominal contents. It is a dome-shaped endurance muscle, the mofara of the muscle world. Its purpose is to constantly contract on inhalation and relax on exhalation. When it contracts, it causes air to be drawn into the lungs and makes the rib cage expand outwards. As it contracts and flattens, it pushes down into the abdominal contents and we may notice this as a rise forwards in our tummy, which is often referred to as tummy or belly breathing. As it relaxes, it domes back up into the rib cage and we notice that our tummy moves backwards. Our tummy isn't involved with our breathing, but it is a sign of whether we are using our diaphragm to breathe or not. Muscles of breathing. This graphic shows the difference in muscle use and, therefore, energy use when we breathe actively with our upper chest versus a relaxed breathing pattern. We absolutely need to breathe actively sometimes, such as when we are exercising or we are taking a full deep breath. But this only occurs for short periods of time. The majority of our time should be spent breathing with a relaxed breathing pattern, even when we are walking. We may notice a need to breathe more actively if we walk quickly or we walk up a steep slope or a long flight of stairs. The cost of breathing. And to put it further into perspective as to why we need to retrain our breathing, People who are breathing with their upper chest use between 10 and 30% of their energy just breathing due to the amount of muscles working. Whereas those using their diaphragm, what we call abdominal or relaxed breathers, only use 2 to 4% of their energy breathing. So this is important when we are trying to conserve our energy. And remember that one of the ways we can get the fight or flight system to switch off and turn into rest and digest mode is by doing relaxed breathing with the diaphragm. This relaxed breathing is under parasympathetic nervous system control and shows the body that it is time to rest and relax. Active breathing at the top of the chest is under predominantly fight or flight nervous control. And breathing in this way for a long period of time stimulates the sympathetic nervous system. Then the symptoms that we experience by breathing this way such as shortness of breath, can make us feel anxious. And this further stimulates the fight or fight response, creating a vicious cycle.